Welcome to Slumberland. You play as Nemo, whose task was saving the sleeping world from the mysterious oblivion which is threatening to destroy it. For those that are new to Little Nemo, it's based off the movie and video game that came out in 1990. This iteration, however, is a bit different and is a full-fledged Metroidvania with some beautiful hand-drawn animation. I was lucky enough to get a chance to check out the demo so I can speak to all of you about my experience with the game. This video is a bit different than my usual structure, but I do want to get content out on indie games more consistently, so here we go. I'd like to start by saying that the atmosphere of this game is amazing and definitely separates itself from many other titles. The only area I really got to explore was the Dream Swept Plains, which has a very lively background. In addition to the plains, I did get to visit Gumdrop Gardens and the Mushroom Marsh, which are both just as beautiful. However, these areas didn't contain any content besides the visuals really as they're still a work in progress. I'd say my favorite theme though is actually from Mushroom Marsh. The world of Little Nemo is a lot more uplifting than your typical Metroidvania, which I actually found to be quite refreshing, and the gameplay is consistent with the usual formula of finding a new ability and gaining access to other areas. You start off without any form of attack, so the only way to defeat enemies is to plug veggies from the ground and then proceed to send them flying. The game plays a bit slow and floaty, but by no means is it not smooth. Playing as Nemo is fluid and easy, and you can expect to find some candy and moons by going off the main route. Beds serve as checkpoints in which you awaken your room, and you can then swap PJs which each offer different attributes. I didn't get a chance to find any alternative outfits, but they do offer more than just a change of display. The boss I got to face was the Rock Lobster, which really had me utilizing my platforming skills that I like to think that I have. Because you don't have an attack yet, you need to dodge his arms and throw the stones back at him whenever you get the chance. Once he's dealt with, you unlock the yo-yo, which can be used to either break blocks or attack enemies. I was a bit worried this whole game would involve picking things up off the ground, which isn't awful, but it does slow down the gameplay. Once I got the yo-yo, I could then explore the other areas which are still in testing. Overall, the demo short and sweet, but I got to fill out what I can expect from the full release. For those that enjoy a great soundtrack and some wonderful aesthetics, then I definitely think you might find interest in this. I'm not too sure yet on the challenge and exploration, but it was not by any means easy, I just never felt overwhelmingly challenged. The expected release date is for the end of 2023, and you'll be able to find Little Neem on the Switch, Itch.io, and Steam. The Steam page is just now up and running as of today, so if this could be of interest to you, then I do recommend giving it a look. I'd like to thank the developer Dave Morrow for giving me a chance to test this game out early, as I continue to grow my channel around indie games in addition to the video essays. Also, if you're looking for some quick reviews and previews on indie games, then check out my TikTok in the description below. So, until next time.